Hello, and welcome to the Caden Walking Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, there's two different cameras that you can look at. And if you're on Spotify, you're listening with two different ears. What do you mean there's two different podcast cameras that look like? Is there going to be like a split on the video? You said, you said there's two different cameras you one can look One for me, and then one for you. But you made some of them have a choice. They don't have a choice. You're, 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 if you're I listen, wanted, the ch- only choice you had was to listen to this podcast. I wanted to make that clear already. Like you don't have a choice on which You have to listen to this at. podcast. Yeah. Well... We have to listen, but like you don't have a choice on, they don't like they don't have a choice on who they're gonna look at, yeah. whatever who's talking. Yeah, I'm. I get that choice. Yeah, you get the choice, but they don't I get, get choice. that choice. Yeah. I feel like I have to keep holding my microphone like this for some to. reason. I know, but I feel like it. Take it off. I don't want to yet. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the first episode of Kane Walking Talk at you. Uh, a little bit of backstory: if you're for some reason a new viewer, a new listener, we did six, five, six years of a pot of a, a YouTube Let's Play show together. And now we are doing a podcast because eventually that show just kind of turned into a podcast. To some degree, yes. No, most every episode of that show became me cutting out us talking about the game and just focusing on what we're like nonsense we're talking about. Yeah, that's true. And so before we started, I was like, man, this is a big thing. This is the first episode of this new thing that we're going to do for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. We did the first thing for fucking five years. We can curse also whenever we want now because we're on other things oh, that's right, not just yeah. YouTube. And I was like, what's the best, in like, first thing, get to know us conversation for the new, new listeners and new viewers? Yesterday, my dick was so itchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It felt what, like... What happened? I don't know. I was just... I was laying on the couch, this couch that you're, you see, and if you uh, are listening, this couch that you can envision in your mind. We can see it right now. Oh. Not everybody... Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I I was just sitting here. It's like, oh my god, it feels like there's a thousand ants on my penis right now. And then I was like, I took a shower, and then I was like, I st- it's still so itchy. <laughs> and this morning, I was like, I can't handle this. I shaved off all the hair down there, and now the f- the itch has finally gone away. <laughs> <laughs> so was it like your actual like penis, or was it? Just it like- was the penis. <laughs> it was the penis that was itchy. Well, that happens to me sometimes when my hair grows too long. It's like that whole area just gets like I mad. I think that might have been what happened. Yeah. I don't know. Just like I think it's like just a constant like kind of like yes, the friction. maybe it's not it's rubbing. I mean, not, not itchiness, but it's like it's the rubbing of the hair, like the tips of the hair. No, it made it feel. Itchy. It makes you feel itchy, but like it's not maybe what it act- actually. I don't fucking know. I'm not a. Tell me th- your scientific hypothesis behind itchy. Like itchy in general. Yeah. What's your What's your stance on the idea of being itchy? Well, it's just irritation of skin. And what's your stance on that? It's fucking annoying. <laughs> like in the bottom of your foot when you're at work. Or you're wearing a shoe, mm-hmm. like you're in school. There's so many times where in school I had to take off my shoe and itch it, itch my foot. Sorry, mm-hmm. not itch my shoe. <laughs> and like, why did you assume I thought? You I don't know because the way I, the way I said it, it just sounded like I itch my shoe. It doesn't matter. But like, there's a time like I was taking it off and someone looks at me. I'm like, it's fucking itchy, bro. Like, like. Also, nothing feels better than a f- shoe to the bottom of the foot itching. Nothing feels better. Like the point of your, like the tip of your foot. Yeah, you just fucking use like one of these with the with the top of your shoe itching your foot. Nothing feels like it's like. I guess my feet aren't itchy often enough that I'm like thinking. It's about not an it. often thing, but like I can remember a couple times where it happened because what school we went to, we had like the old traditional wooden chairs. Yeah, we got like donation desks. Yeah, like donation desk. That's not. I don't know why that's the way I said that. But so I try to like with the desk in front of me, like itch my foot through my shoe. I just like. Rubbing it like this. You're blowing up right now. Getting a phone call. You're getting a phone call. Yeah. From whom? Jesse. All right. Let's pause the episode. And we're Dude. back. Yes, we're back. For you, it was momentary, and for the audience, there for pe- some people listening, nothing changed. Like there was a jump cut for everybody who has to watch this. Mm-hmm. I can tell you exactly how long it was. I don't care. Six minutes. Great. We well, rather say for them it was instant, but like for us, it was six minutes. Which God, if you've ever had to sit for. six six minutes it's a long time it's a long time it makes your brain catch i can't on help but look at into the camera no but that's fine then we should look into the camera but i can't help but look into the thing next to it the screen you're looking at yourself yeah like, should i just, have not just, turned it around just my first reaction you know just looking to like i don't know humans are naturally attracted to themselves that's why we reproduce. Well, i would hope so it would be wild if <laughs> if we were being evolved they were like yeah, humans, they're naturally attracted to geese. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say giraffes. Now, nah, that's a challenge. That's a weird one. Giraffes, well, geese is a painful one. Giraffes are a, are a hard one. Why is geese painful? Isaac just told me 
dear friend of the show, Isaac. Geese have teeth on their whole bills and then around their tongue. The inside of a goose mouse is basically a Lovecraftian nightmare. You know how a bird penis works? Are you talking about a cloaca or are you talking about their penis? The duck penis specifically, mm-hmm. the corkscrew? Yes. There's, an, there's a hairstyle in Africa called... I don't know what the words, but it, it translates to duck penis. You don't believe me. I could tell instantly. I don't, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the world's so wide. I feel like it's a thing that's possible. You're think, what, what are you thinking about to say right there? You, you sound like the mm-hmm. I was just trying like, to fill dead air. Oh, I thought you made it seem like it was going to, I was going to say something controversial. It's not like earlier when we were taking photos and I thought that you were going to call young Justice Leaguers hot. <laughs> I was really <laughs> concerned. You literally... You 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 stopped the sentence. He was talking about an episode of Justice League Unlimited, hit show from the early two thousands. It was a great show, mm-hmm. where Wonder Woman, Batman, Green Lantern, and Superman all get turned into kids, and all you said was, "Man, Wonder Woman was so bad when she was a kid." No, that's not what I said. I said, "Don't clip that. <laughs> Don't clip that, please. We'll clip that for him." No. <laughs> Why? I'm not gonna. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime Joaquin says something gross, I want you to keep on the audience to <laughs> fuck him over. What I was saying was because it was weird. I was saying how, how, how did I say it? I said, I watched this episode and it was one where they were all kids. No, I think I said, no. You phrased it in a way that yeah, made it I very said, suspicious. It's weird how bad. And then I think I like. Oh, did, yeah. I did, you I did, pause I, and I was expecting you to say how. Yeah. Because I was doing, I don't know, I think it was like cough. I was doing something. And mm-hmm. the way you looked at me, it was just like. I. <laughs> <laughs> And cause I was about to say, yeah. and I was trying to say how bad Wonder Woman wanted Batman. For the audio listeners, look at go to the video, go watch the video. If you yeah. want to see my face, it's like how bad he wanted, how bad she wanted him, like more as when they were younger. And I thought that was weird. I was thinking it's weird that all the superheroes are around the same age. It's kind of coincidence. I think it, it was magic. I know. What well, everyone became superheroes? It's magic that they turned into children. No, no. I mean, like, as adults. That's what I meant. Sorry. I mean, they're all, like, in their mid-30s, but, like, when... Are you t- are you saying that it's weird that when they were turned into kids, they were all, like, no, the same No, I mean, age? when they were as adults. Well, Wonder it's just, Woman, it's just I don't even... I don't think she's, like... Wonder Woman's either creepily 18, or she's, like, 400. I think she's way older than that. I think she's, like... No, I mean, sorry. Way older than 18. Yeah. Well. I think she's, like... Has to be in the hundreds, I feel like. Because they don't age normally on Themyscira, right? They do not. To my knowledge. I mean, that would make sense. Uh, it though. might be different in that canon, though. Anyway. Does, this, this does Superman? Fun. Does he age normally? Yeah. No, not in the DCAU. He ages much slower. Because by the time that Bruce is old in Batman Beyond, mm-hmm. Superman just has, like, Mr. Fantastic hair. Where yeah. it's gray on the sides. What about in, um, like, what, like a lantern? That doesn't... They age the same? Their alien biology is what determines that. I bet everyone's so okay. interested in this. Let's well, talk we're about... We're here for an hour. So, like, what else are we talking about? We got... We, I, talk, we, we can talk about whatever. I know we can talk about whatever, but I'm, we're trying to hook people. This is the first episode. By episode this is, four, this is, this is, this is this what is you're going to expect. Yeah, this is what, this we is what we're going to get. This is what we talk about. This is what we're going to give you. So, like, if you don't like it, get please. the fuck out now. <laughs> like, please stay for a little bit longer. Get the fuck in now. <laughs> get in. <laughs> hook in. Put the seatbelt on. You're in. I don't like how much with the microphone is covering my face. I feel like this would just look better. If you're just holding it? Yeah. Cause it's not like this, you know. Like if you do this, it just kind of looks more natural, you know. I'm like we're having like these conversations with mics, you know, we're just like talking. Cause like I naturally have my microphone like this when we record, right? Yeah, I do too. So I feel like we're just we have it like this, you know, just a little bit lower, you know, more natural. I feel like when you have that in front of you, uh-huh. you kind of have to sit with the with the stand. You're stiff a little bit. Yeah, I feel like this. You'd be a little bit more like you know. And now I can also do this. And every I just hit the <laughs> microphone really hard on my hand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they heard it. Yeah. Audio listeners. So then it, let me tell you what's going to happen. If you ever want to be on the podcast, you're going to come up to me and I'm going to fucking. I'm going <laughs> to beat you up. I hurt my hand. That hurt my hand so I, much. I felt that one. Yeah. I hit the on the corner of the mic. Today, you might be able to tell if you're watching this. We took the pictures today for the podcast. We did. And I would like you to know, I want to give Joaquin full credit for that because he had the genius idea of this guy making us do that like hallmark channel we just had a baby pose you see i don't have fantastic ideas often but when i do they're pretty okay it's so funny god damn it i'm looking at myself again why am i doing this because you think everybody is automatically more attracted to themselves i think i'm pretty ugly anyway (laughs) i don't think you're ugly why do you think you're ugly because i hate myself that's a good reason (laughs) 
I mean, there's you know, some, there's some truth behind that. That you hate yourself or that you're ugly? Both. Okay, what's the truth? Well, obviously you hate yourself. <laughs> yeah. There's the truth there. Mm-hmm. What's the ugly truth? Um, Not like the ugly truth yeah, about why I you know, hate yeah. yourself, but just, um, yeah. A big head. My cheeks are kind of like, I feel like a lot. Like they're really stiff. Mm-hmm. My, my Stiff? Yeah, like, like when I make facial expressions, my cheeks always kind of stay the same. I feel like that That's bothers just me. being young. No, but you see people who like, like, like actors, like their whole face can like kind of like... Not like a Jim like, Carrey. Okay, I was about like, to ask like Jim Carrey. Like, um... How do you know I was going to ask like Jim Carrey? Because he has Carey. the most... Like, his face can do whatever the fuck he's he the wants He's the man of to. the stretchiest face. He should have played Plastic Man. He probably was up for the role in the 90s. But then he became the fucking Riddler. Um, he's good as the Riddler. He is pretty good as the Riddler. Eh. You have a weird opinion I about prefer, stuff I prefer goofy. Paul Dano over... Yeah, everyone does. But the fucking... Like, I don't he like... He was great. I don't like Goofy. I think that's not so my thing. weird. I don't think it's that weird. Literally, we've made 400 episodes of Goofy. But we're not Goofy like, ooh, hoo, hoo. We, do, we say stupid bunny. Like, no, we're just stupid. There's a difference. We're not like, yuck, hey, Max. Yeah. Maxie, you want to go on the Goofy movie with me? Yeah. That's, like, what, we, that's what Goofy says at the beginning of the Goofy movie. Really? Yeah, he says, hey, Max, would you like to partake on a Goofy movie with Making me? so much eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It's freaking me out. There what was, do you want me to There look? was just so much like, hey, Max, <laughs> do you want to go on the Goofy movie with me? Like, I, was like, I did not did like Did you like it. that I also wasn't blinking? Yeah, that made it freakier. Because also we've done how, six years, you said? Yeah. Of not looking at each other when we talk. Correct. And now it's going to be however much longer of this. Only looking at each other only when we talk. Only looking at each other. And that's Sometimes weird. we'll have a guest. We yeah, look at then them. we stare at them. Mike. Then, then we'll just all, all um, camera. You're gonna be my guest. I'm just gonna be looking right at them the whole time. No matter. I'm gonna be like Joaquin. What's your stance on the geopolitical system in Genosha? Do it squirt. <laughs> That's your stance. Isn't Genosha like Star that's an Wars X-Men planet? thing? Oh, that's X-Men? a thing from the X Men. I'm thinking Genosis. Yeah, Star that's exactly planet. what I was thinking too. It's all those like weird insect people. I look like when you look at the camera. I look like I'm about to report on something. <laughs> and we are live in downtown. Nice. Oh, I just said. Yeah, I'll, I'll bleep it. It's okay. <laughs> it's because of this. My headphones? The headphones make you look like an like, on-scene reporter. Oh. Thank you for that, Jim. As you can see here at the local children factory, all of the children have got on fire. <laughs> Would it be crazy if we just knew children came from a factory? You do. Yeah, the vagina factory. Mm-hmm. It's a conveyor belt. And Jeff Bezos is there, mm-hmm. as he is at every bird. He's looking at me so hard right now. Just, Where do you want me? To <laughs> I don't know. You look around a little bit. Well, I'm prospecting you as a person. Prospecting me? Yeah, perspe- I'm putting you in perspective. I'm making. I'm looking far away to make it seem like you're smaller. What? Do you know what perspective? <laughs> means? I don't understand how that. Because there's that like the idea. There's like if you look at something that's far away, are you like, is that thing huge? And yeah, really I, far away. I understand away. how it works, but how does it work in this situation right now? Because I'm really far away from you. <laughs> well, now they know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just leaned into the camera to show that he's right next to me. They didn't know before that. I think one episode we should do that. We're like, we're across the room for each other. Or like just a far really distance. Far away. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'd be very funny. I think that'd be hilarious. Because on the recording end, it would be like, Perfectly like you. Yeah, that nobody would n- yeah. know a thing. I have to say, I poured myself a, a, a glass of water for this, and I drank all of it. With uh, my intention, <laughs> my intention was to drink it afterwards, but we ate burritos before this, mm-hmm. and motherfucker, those burritos staying in my mouth. Really? <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> that was so gross. Is that a vomit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hi. That was so much liquid. It came up. <laughs> yeah. it was, that was revolting. It wasn't great. That was fucking awful. I, it felt bad. You need an Altoid. Like a mint? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are... You know why those got popular? No. Cigarettes. Oh, because it makes you smell mm-hmm. bad? Because no, the Altoid makes you smell bad. And you pop, I mean, the Altoid fucking the cigarette make makes you smell bad. Pop an Altoid. That's how it got popular. I'm going to reveal a secret to you right now. These headphones are not plugged in. <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point? I don't know. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> what was the? What was? Why? Because you're, like, you're supposed to wear headphones on a podcast, like this. I mean, yeah. Everyone does it, and then I was like, "Well, I only have the one pair." I thought of this weeks you ago. Have a fucking sorry. You close your eye. This one. You have like I, white on your. This is. Yeah, uncom- you look. You had white. 
Did you get it? Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Okay, Joaquin well, ate that. For the, all the people who are listening, they can't. fucking kidding me. What? You've just been doing that since the oh, start. I don't okay. know what's wrong with that one. Okay. Joaquin's camera, it's new, but for some reason, the battery on it, like, I charge the battery for hours, and it's, like, not working right. Like, it's, like... It's supposed to be fully charged, but it didn't retain any of it. Mm-hmm. I, 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 get, I just think that the display... These cameras suck. We got cheapo cameras. We. You decided <laughs> that these cameras were okay with me. <laughs> it did. was a communal decision. It was. We. We. <laughs> Everything's we. Nothing's us. Uh, nothing, mm-hmm. I was about to say nothing's us. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's... <laughs> this is our commit. We commit a relationship with this podcast. I had oh. I had the headphones weeks ago. Okay, great. Well, he's <laughs> falling asleep. I'm gonna wear these headphones, and then at the very end, I'll reveal to him that they were not plugged in the whole time. Why'd you reveal the spoiler? My then? head got too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I was uncomfortable, <laughs> and my head got too hot. That's what I was leading up to. I didn't we t- talked about it on like I don't the old you, show. Nobody knows it here. Okay. I guarantee you that most of our audience is, has not seen I guess, I guess anything. We, we, tell we all can the tell stories. so many stories again. Why are you? Never mind. So there was a time ninth grade, correct? Ninth grade health when class. We were in health class. Our health teacher was talking about like, it, was, it was human anatomy that week. Talking about how in the morning, it's very hard sometimes for men, or just in general, honestly. It is very hard for men <laughs> to sometimes pee when they have an erection, and for some reason. My dumbass in the very, very back of the classroom. No, like, it was kind of just like me, Kate, a couple of our friends, right? Just us back there. Well, I guess it wasn't a classroom. We also weren't in a class. Yeah, we were yeah. on like the floor, the floor of, of the, the theater, theater room, room which yeah. also wasn't a theater. It was, it was basically two classrooms. two classrooms that they broke a wall down mm-hmm. and there was like load bearing beams in there mm-hmm. and floor that smelled like ass. Yes. I just for some reason went, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the moment everyone I did that, did this. everyone just did a like, such a slow turn. Yeah. It was a slow turn towards you. Like, it was as if it was a, a sitcom, like Malcolm in the Middle, mm-hmm. where everything's a bit hyper-stylized, and this, everyone goes, like, you hear like a, well, everyone's turning towards you. But I realized how funny it was in the moment, so I started laughing, because I was like, why the fuck did I do that? And apparently, for Cave, that was the moment he knew we should become lovers. Mm-hmm. So that's why we're here now. That is why we're here now. And that's why we're lovers. Yes. That's how we took that photo. But in that photo <laughs> that you see for the podcast cover, neither of us are wearing pants. No. What did <laughs> this show's reason why we're single? The podcast or Kate and Joaquin? Kate and Joaquin. Sorry. You got a girlfriend. But it was like, that was like kind of early days though. So. Yeah. And then actually, I never said this to you. I got caught up because of that. I don't know what like that after, means. Like caught like, uh, so like after me and her broke up, mm-hmm. I was saying, well, I think we were playing Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> <laughs> and I said something about like I'm ready for a girlfriend or whatever. Like mm-hmm. I'm ready for, Matt for another girlfriend. And she texted me. She was saying, "So I watched your episode." Oh and shit! Went, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> and she was, and I was like, mm, I was just saying that, you know, because it's like four hours of recording. I just kind of say whatever comes out of my mouth, you know. In reality, I still want to be with you again, mm-hmm. but doesn't happen with that one. And she was like, "We should watch what you say on the internet because it's the internet. Anyone can watch it." And I went, you know. That's a very good point. You have this epiphany all the time. Well, this is why I was. This was a. L- this was like your first time having that epiphany. Yeah, eleventh grade. Yeah. Then I didn't care for a couple of years until like, I realized that I wanted to be something, that's like a public figure. And yeah, I was like, and then mm. you, last session or two two, recording sessions ago, asked me a question. I just edited this, about if you were having sex, would you suck on your significant other's toes? That's and a weird then, question. And then, you went into significant detail. <laughs> You're like, you're in missionary. You're fucking going. And then she was like, putting your feet up. She's like, suck them. And you're like, what? And she's like, suck on my toes. And then you're like, okay. And I was like, you know, this brings into question. <laughs> it's a legitimate question, though. It's, but how is that not bad? I was, for your I was just trying to give you, like, an example. Just so, like, see, like, if I open it something, <laughs> if I awaken something in you, of toe suckage. Yes. Well, you didn't. <laughs> So mission failed. I learned that. To go back all the way to when we were talking about uh, gym class and uh, theater class overall, I guess. I had this a great idea in the shower a couple of days ago. So in 11th grade, we hosted our school news, which it, it felt like I was originally brought on. And then I brought you on because I was like, we're the we're the duo of the school. We're where are high school. Was it my idea to do like the world news, though? I don't remember or cared. Like it, it all of it was boring and bad. 
But we were, because I can say, we were like the Abbott and Costello of our high school, mm-hmm. which is a very timely reference. Uh, I had the idea. Why didn't you say Troy and Abed? That's what this whole thing was based off that's of. what I was thinking of. <laughs> I was thinking of Abbott and Costello. I like Abbott and Costello. It's fair. I was in the shower. I was like, fuck. Because 12th grade, I was supposed to take over the school news. And I just never did anything with it. And I was like, I should have turned it into a late night show. Dude, that would have been so good. That would have been so good. I would have came good. back. Yeah, you should have come to school every, like, Thursday or whatever, <laughs> filmed a late night show, and then I was I was particularly excited because I wanted to do, like, remotes like how Conan does, where he just goes out and he, like, interacts with people, and I could be, like, in a gym class or in the dance class. Mm-hmm. And partic- our gym teacher, he was so nice, he always wore Crocs. So I always. had, like, I had jokes ready in my, in the showers, like, oh, so are these the athletic shoes that everybody needs to wear in the gym class here? And then I was like, all right, what's the world record for push-ups here? One? <laughs> Two, ask, tell me when I'm getting too high. Three, this feels too high already. <laughs> we went to an Dude, art high school, by the way. That would have been so good. It would have been so good. So good. I don't know if I had the confidence yet in my senior year. I, ge- I definitely gained it throughout senior year. Mm-hmm. I wish that I had been more confident throughout high school because then I definitely would have turned the school news into a late night program. That would have been so fucking good. I would have want to have been um, like Guillermo from Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, like my, my Andy Richter. Yeah, but specifically Guillermo. who's well, I don't know who... Um, He's just a guy who stands near the, like the door, mm-hmm. and he's just a security guard. Security so he's a guard. security guard. Security guard barely speaks English, but they send him out to do things. Uh huh. So like there was like a time where he'd go out to like um like know the NBA finals. Are they the finals of the NBA? Yeah, like the championship mm-hmm. series. Yes, I am. They would send him and go like just go talk to people, go talk to players, do what you want. That's like that's the whole the whole thing was. Mm-hmm. It was very funny because he well, was just being funny, no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, I I truly do wish I came because that would have been even funnier. What would you have called you it? Went to, I would have called it like Late Night with Cade. But it'd be in, in the day. Well, it's just movie <laughs> magic, baby. <laughs> or would it, I don't know. I would have been called the school news because I would have transitioned away from doing the news. I would have like interviewed teachers and students. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I wouldn't have been like, so what's your class like this year? I would have been like, listen, dog, what's the worst fucking flat tire <laughs> you ever got? <laughs> or something. I don't know. Just something dumb. And they're like, I oh, can't. So you're here. in dance class, right? What's your thoughts on 9 11? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So I understand you are our newest addition to the the, uh, the staff. You are the new dance teacher. She's like, yeah, I am. And he's like, uh, okay, I'm going to ask you a, a good question. Do you think the Holocaust happened? <laughs> <laughs> then the fucking principal would have been like, you cannot air this. And like, I would have been like, mm, well, it's going to happen. <laughs> I've already boop. made it. It's getting out there somewhere. Because then I feel like they would have been like, you can't call this news anymore. I was like, all right, I'm going to start the late night club. Does it matter if we say our teachers' names anymore? No, we're not in school. It's not like we say their full name. I guess do we? I guess we don't want people to like find where our school is. I don't give a fuck. We can egg the school. Mm. Don't egg the school. That leads on to things that could be worse. Yeah, like domestic terrorism. <laughs> Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're on a we're on a list now because of that. By saying the words domestic terrorism, <laughs> to related to our school. Don't duress. Don't here. Here's the PSA. I'm looking right into the camera. Do not domestic terrorism our former high school. You say it as well. Do not. <laughs> domestic don't <laughs> not. Don't fucking not. You're not. Do not commit domestic terrorism to our former high school. I guess you could also just stop it at don't commit domestic terrorism. Just don't. That's a good uh, message. Depends on who. Yeah, if you're in the Taliban, they probably really like when you do domestic terrorism. <laughs> Are they still a thing? Is that still? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, it's ISIS now. Oh, so mine thing's outdated. Yeah, but like, it's kind of like, I think it's like an evolution to my understanding. But no one's going to get mad at us for saying like the Taliban are terrorists. Consider no, will. They did 9-11. Yeah, but we're saying that's good for them to do that. No, we, well, here's the thing. <laughs> Within the larger world. In episode one, we're already of getting course, controversial. Of course, of course don't do that. <laughs> Doing terrorism is terrible. Terrorism is like such a fucking bad thing, but within the ranks of the the what's it called? I forgot what it what we call it. Um, what's the terrorist? What's the terrorist organization called? <laughs> Taliban. The Taliban. <laughs> Everybody within the Taliban's like, dude, you got to do this terrorism. I think Al Qaeda. Is Taliban? I think they're the same thing. Hold up. I don't want to speak out of my ass here. The Taliban isn't good. Of course your camera dies. We'll be right back. And we're back. Yes, Al-Qaeda. That's what we should have said That's originally. That's what we should have said originally. Because they are the ones who committed 9-11. All right, so... Because George Bush went, and those people for Al-Qaeda, 
That is what he said. hell on earth. All right, so now watch his drive. I guess go back in time. Have you seen that video? No. Where George Bush is at like a golf, like some like, he's not some like a golfing place, right? He's talking about like, and we will get them, and we will attack them, and we will make them do what they did wrong for committing the terrorist attacks they did. And then he goes, now watch his drive. And it smokes a fucking <laughs> golf ball of his drive with his driver. <laughs> Doing a podcast is going to be harder than um editing like the show. Yeah, because we have two different angles. Mm. And it's also an hour straight. That I, isn't as difficult because I edit. Well, I just think when it's Kid and Joaquin, it's like you can divide it up. Yeah. This is like an hour straight of footage. I guess, yeah. It's a bit different. But it's not like I have to do it for two hours. What was that? Why? Yeah. You, you just tried. It's I. It's, you're caught on camera. Everyone who's watching this saw that. You tried to so eat. So what's your thoughts? You tried to eat what's your, your microphone on, in that corner of the car. a hot dog a sandwich? Is that really what you wanted to di- divert us into? Is that is that? <laughs> I think just, you fucked up the camera angle. I moved more into the middle of mine as well. I'm also really sunk down. Have I? I've said this. This is why we shouldn't record on this couch because you migrate over to the middle of the couch. <laughs> well, look, we don't have a lot of other options currently. I'm also in the middle as well, but I haven't moved from my position. It doesn't matter. We're looking at the right way. Jersey smells like farts. It's like all New York does. No, New York doesn't smell like farts. Well, New York drive, smells like shit. You drive through a lot of New York smells like piss, which is better than farts. Um, <laughs> you that's dr- debatable. You drive through a section of New Jersey. I've had this every time I've driven in New York in my whole life. There is a fucking like hour long stretch in Jersey mm-hmm. where I think it's like paper manufacturing plants, and it fucking smells like farts the whole time. <laughs> you think it could possibly be like New York. Is it like rural area you're driving through? Semi. Maybe a farm? No, it's so, it's paper, it, we know what it, I told you what it is. It's paper Oh, I thought you said, I think, I thought you said, no, I think no, it's going to no, be no, that. No, Poppy oh, told oh, yeah. me. Poppy. Okay. He, he even fucking smelled it. Mm. He was like, That's this surprising. smells bad. And I was like, something is wrong here. <laughs> you can't smell, and you're saying that New Jersey smells bad. I would never want that. To be in a situation. Not be able to smell, I mean, sorry. Or taste? Yeah. That sounds awful. I... Wouldn't care, <laughs> cause I don't like food. I actually you like drinking things. Yeah, but if man, you can't taste root beer anymore. I'm already over it. In that one second, I was like, eh, I'm fine. No, nah, there, there'll be there'll be one day. We're like, man, root beer sounds real nice, but it's just nothing. It's nothing else to you. Just a fizz. If I could switch tongues with Poppy, I would. I don't care enough, and he loves food. Like he loves food, and it's so cruel that the world made it so he can't taste food. How that happen? Just developed. Yeah, when he he just got older, he just lost his sense of taste and smell. It wasn't like he got hit in the head or anything. Weirdly, though, when he had COVID and we lost him in the hospital, and everyone was like, "Where did he go?" He regained his sense of taste. Oh, he probably loved it. He ate so much food. Good. And then he got real, not sick from the food, but like COVID sick. And then a nurse told him he had really soft skin. I don't remember the full story. COVID healing him? What? Was COVID healing him? Healing him how? He said he has soft skin. His taste came back. Like soft skin as in like it's mushy or like. Like nice to touch. I also think she was referring to his taint. Because <laughs> she gave him like a sponge bath. I would have hated that. Have you ever seen you, Poppy's I you, back? I bet she was so funny during that though. Probably he's probably hilarious. I've never seen his back. Is it hairy? No, it's covered in moles. It looks like someone <laughs> took a shotgun and shot his back multiple times, <laughs> and then it just chipped oh it all God. away. I used to uh, when I was really it's little. So gross. It's really gross. But I would have him take up his shirt, and we would chase people around the house with it because it didn't gross me out that much. But I would be like, "Hey, hey, mom!" And then he'd bring up his shirt, and she'd go, like, "Stop!" It would only be the back, or is it the front as well? No, it's not the front. It's just the back. It's like a hard stop at the shoulder. So area. how would he stop? Like how would he, I mean? How would he chase people around backwards? Would you like guide him? <laughs> I was that three. I was like, go that way. <laughs> I want to kind of see it. Next time we're at his house. I haven't seen Poppy in a long time. He's doing good. Good. Do you think like? Do you think? Because I've been able to trick you a lot. Let me talk about that. I don't know if this is the same as brainwashing, but I have tricked you on many. Th- I've in. 10th grade, I tricked you into thinking that my legal first name was Charlotte. I tricked you into thinking that the Epcot ball at Disney World was the scariest thing in the world. For about six hours, I tricked you into thinking if a tree is found on a mountain, it's no longer considered a mountain. That was the worst one. That one was the worst one. That one, I, th- I thought it was if a hill... If a tree is found on a mountain, it's no longer a mountain, it's a hill. That's sure what you said? It? That's what I said. I thought you said if it had a, a, a tree on a hill considered a mountain. 
Mm -mm. That's even worse. That would be worse. If I got you to believe that one, that's even worse. I believe that. Until right now, you believe that? I wouldn't believe that. Yeah. And that's when, after the third one, you had to start saying, swear on Sam Raimi. Correct. Sam Raimi, I didn't famous film you. director. Yes. But I only have to never say, say it his name in vain. I only, ha I, can, I only have to say it when you tell me if I have to say it. No, sometimes you said it on your own. Sometimes I've said it on my own for shit that I want you to believe, because I'm telling you a fact. I'm mm -hmm. telling you something real. And you're like, I don't believe you. I will say it then to be like, this is real. But if you tell me you have to swear on Sam Raimi, I, if I say it and it's fake, that... It's against the rules. It means against the rules. If I make you say it, I can't. Be, I, I, you can't be like say it, and then I say it, and I was lying. Well, you have to say it then. Yeah, you know, and, you, and you can't say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you meant something else." No, my fault. My fault. I thought you meant saying. I thought you meant me saying swearing saying Raimi was against the rules. Mm -mm. You. That's the whole purpose of the okay. the, 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 the saying. Mm -hmm. I turned to Porky Pig there for a second. I don't want to. One of my goals in life is to learn how to talk like all of the Looney Tunes characters. It's a weird one. Well, I, uh, you, you got free time. Porky Pig, conceptually in my mind, is the hardest. Because well, when you really study it, like his voice is like the the stutter. Because it's not a normal stutter where he's like... D -d 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 -d. Like you have to figure out... <laughs> you go into a word and what he does a lot, he'll start with a word like... Oh, this is if he's talking about something big. He's like, "This is gonna be really huge in this whole whole place." He says a different thing at the end after not being able to say the word. Mm, that is so you have word. to come up with synonyms. And also, he stutters in a very specific way. I like a poor came up with like a uh, like a s strategy to break his stutter. I don't know if it's a, even a strategy. I feel like it's just like it's. Well, the, it, I I can see it that way because like he's stuck in a stutter saying that one word, so he'll say yeah. something else. It's also it's fascinating to me that they were like, "Hey, one guy, you get to have all the credit," and he gave Mo, Mo, Mo Blank did most of the voices, except for like Elmer Fudd, like other people like that. He didn't do, and it wasn't until like the '80s that they got actually credited. That's interesting, right? It's weird. What happened? I just keep I'm p panicking that I'm holding it backwards, so I keep. So I, have, I keep like checking. Oh, that's smart. I'm just gonna hold it with two hands, even though now it looks. I look like like I look like a white girl who just got a pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> and she's really like you're about to be like on stage in the eighties. She's really sucking ballad. it in. Oh, I, fucking I fucking need this. I fucking need this. I had such a hard day in high school. Oh fucking Tiffany's bitch ass. Tiffany wouldn't let me borrow her math. No fucking more. Greg, looking Greg. at me. Oh, we're like, I have a boyfriend. I'm dating West right now. West is so hot and Greg is so not. But Greg is such a nice like, guy and I don't want to like, break his heart. Like, is Greg the quarterback of the JV team? No. West he's on the, is. He's the quarterback of the JV chess team. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to me that there are sports in high school. Because our high school, because I went to all four it's, years. You went it's to, weird that there wasn't sports in high school for me. Yeah. That was really weird for me. I don't know. I, I'm just no, I'm such a non-sports guy. That it was weird. It's weird for me to think that other schools' sports are such a huge thing. Because at our school, sports was a nothing. The closest thing to sports we had was dance. Or when PE, I would literally, what's the word, annihilate our class. Yeah, in you PE. fucked people up. It, they had to make a rule for me in kickball. They had to make a rule for you? Yeah, I remember that. Because I used to, like, we played kickball in, like, the like the park in front of our school. Which is a park that was filled with homeless people. Mm -hmm. That's, it's got... Kind of, it's nice now, Dude, but when really we went to recently? school, yeah, I have. I it's went there with Brian. Weird, right? It's uh, weird. It's weird, and also there's completely so devoid. Though. There's some homeless people there, but there's mm -hmm. less places for them to hide. Mm -hmm. I remember one time a girl was like, "Oh no, I'm watching someone get raped or something." Do you remember that? I thought that was weird. And oh no, that's, like what they, they they, that's what they thought was happening. Oh, yeah. I was. We were in that class together. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we were in that class together, and I was like, "Oh my god, really? Why are we not all being huddled?" Then Mister the Barrier right went now. over there, there's and the name. not what was. Um, well, we said we said it was okay. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. And he went over there and like that's not what's happening. Tell us about the kickball rule though. Oh yeah, so what I would do is because everyone was so unathletic, like mm -hmm. it was insane. I would just kick the ever living shit out of the ball, like so far away. So I would just like easy run around, you know. Yeah. Score all the runners, to the point where like okay, listen, Joaquin. Like, even like, everyone like unanimous, like, they had like a discussion about this before. Where was I? I was in your gym class. I don't remember. I don't know how you remember it. They were like. If you're going to kick the ball, it has to be to a certain point. Because you kick it that far, you're out automatically. So I was like, okay. Oh, I, yeah. So I kick it that far and still make it around the bases. I'm like, it's not going to change anything, guys. Because everybody's, the fastest everybody could run it was, like was a, a, brisk a brisk walk. Yeah. Or then after school, me, a couple of the friends, and the guy we used to know, I don't know if I say his name. Don't say his name if he doesn't know. But you know what I'm talking He's about, the right? the military? Mm-hmm. 
We went to military school. We went to when he moved. Oh to, yeah, 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 yeah. He like became part of our after because we used to play football after school, right? Mm-hmm. And me and some and our other friend who was we 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 were both pretty good football, and like we'd play these like two v two sometimes three v twos or whatever. And he, he joined right, so and he is super he's and very athletic very athletic i was like oh, i got some competition now. i remember when i don't remember when this was but he sent us a picture of him and he just was fucking ripped yeah like impressively Jacked. ripped and so then i had some competition and he was actually faster than me too mm-hmm. like on a sprint because he was in shape i was in shape i was just naturally athletic you know <laughs> what this is so fun i wasn't in shape i'm just i'm naturally athletic like well, i was like if i was in shape you sound like chris evans from scott pilgrim oh i mean i'm I mean, naturally athletic you like can that. say that i feel like. i feel like if you say you're naturally athletic that's not like very like i just think it's a funny sentence i mean it is but it's just like i, I am it's like i feel like i can naturally pick up sports and i'm like what about bowling i'm pretty good bowling actually really you think yeah. your, your natural athletic ability is coming into that uh, yeah it's hand, it's hand coordination mm, and hand coordination point. and like arm strength and accuracy i've never been good at any bowling that's not wee bowling it's always how the way you how straight you hold your arm that's how i learned how straight you hold if your i keep arm? my arm completely straight and forward it's gonna go that way every time oh like i can't do a spin on it because i don't understand how that works but I like, think that's all in the wrist. But I don't understand how like aiming the spin, you know. Oh, like when you go that way, and it goes. Yeah, like, it doesn't just like like halfway turn. Mm-hmm. Like how like it spins and then at the end it turns. I yeah. don't get that. But as long as I can like keep my arm straight, it's gonna like the, like keep my. That makes sense. Like the way I release it. Yeah. It's gonna go straight every time for me. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. It's been a while, so I don't know how good I'd be now. But have you ever played called Frankie's? I loved Frankie's. Fucking Frankie's, bro. They're bowling alley. They have a bowling alley there. Yes, and but their balls are so small. Very, you could fucking hug them like yeah, a baseball. So I would just like heave those shit. Yeah, you throw it all the way down. I Frankie's. fucking love Frankie's. That actually Frankie's was was awesome. That started my love for go karting. Really? Because mm-hmm. go karts track there. Yeah, I've been on the go kart have, many they times. Have pretty fun fucking go kart track. They. Do. I never did the older people one, older ones because I was every time I went. I, I got to went. do the older people one because my dad would go do it with me. Was and it faster? I don't uh, know. But I got to be in the passenger seat. We oh, had a yeah. slower car. Yeah. But we were in the faster. I one. remember my first time I was able to go alone. Mm-hmm. Like I think actually me you. Isaac and someone else went with us. To when, Frankie's? Yeah. Why don't I remember any of this shit? I'm pretty sure I have a picture of that. You have a picture of us at Frankie's? We went go-karting. I've never... I don't know this. We've I'm talked about going sure go-karting. go-karting. We did it. And um, the go-kart tracks there are fun because like their elevation changes. Like there's, you go know, over a bridge, you go under a bridge. Like They're really fun They're there. very fun. I remember the first time I was able to go alone. I was like, I'm in like, control right now because like... Initially, it was just like your dad would drive it or something, mm-hmm. but like it was like me driving it. I was like, dude, this is fucking awesome. Did you ever get in an accident? I don't feel like crazy. Like I fell out the fucking go kart. Like, you strapped flew in. Flew off, dude. Imagine no. that. Imagine if that's the only way that you could finish go karting. Like go karting is Straight normal all turn the one. way, <laughs> and then at the end you have to crash into a wall. With yourself unbuckled and see like a javelin toss, like you're javelin tossing with yourself, crazy. and you have to see how far out of the cart you can go in like prefer like competitive go karting to where like um because you know like go karts you go like a rental track they have like the the buffers mm-hmm. around it well there's no around that right they're a lot lighter there's no seat belts in professional go karting mm-hmm. which is a hilarious statement no it's no but it's real shit though they go like eighty miles per hour ninety down a straight wow and like they're sliding around maybe like fifty. Like around a corner, like no professional, like real because it's a world championship. It's like a world There's championship. There's a for world that. championship for go karting. If I ever showed you like real go karting, you'd be like, "Holy shit!" Like it's it's not none of this pussy go karting. Go karting, children. Go karting is like the fun thing, but like, it's called it's still it's karting, not go karting. Like the reason go karting came is like, do you want to go karting? And then that's how it came up. <laughs> that's why it's weird. Since you want to go go karting, I you guess. Say, you just just but go that's karting. That's just what it's called. It's karting. Yeah, it's called. It's become go karting in the yeah because the people geist. would go karting. That's why, and it developed the name go karting. Either way, this is hilarious. If I ever showed it to you, it's like, it's real. It's not like Do you no, not think that it's funny though. That that's a that's a to me that's on the same level as competitive slapping. No, no. Well, in competitive slapping, you get slapped. In go karting, you can actually physically break bones. I've seen people fly Have out of carts. Seen people competitively slap. Yeah. You yeah, they, they get knocked out. You could get break bones in that. Maybe like your cheekbone, you your hand break bone. your hand, you could break your forearm. That was your forearm. Remember in over if you, the top? If you could break your forearm and you slap could break him, your full forearm. Then you, the you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be doing that then. Why? Because then if you if you don't have the strength in your forearms to smack... No, you're strong enough, but maybe you got like bird bones. 
So let me say it again. So you if like you don't have the, str- the strength in your arms, to you put a sl- then you wouldn't even be able to hit him with your hand. Anywho, I know you you're wear trying. a special glove for hitting. A hitting glove. <laughs> you, like an oven mitt? Yeah, like an oven mitt, so your ba- your bo- your hand bones don't break. Oh, shit, I'm out of the camera right now. Wrap up your arm like in cellophane and <laughs> plastic wrap. And Why the fuck do you know what that's like called to a like, molecular level? I don't know. I heard a guy the other day tell me that he doesn't think atoms exist anymore, and I was like, what? <laughs> he, he was dead serious. But uh, he was like telling me about how cells don't ex- He doesn't know if cells exist anymore, and I was like, okay, guy. Buy him a microscope. Okay, buy him a microscope? Mm-hmm. Just buy a microscope. Do you know how expensive a microscope is? Then he would be like, oh, wow. You really cared about me learning this, and I appreciate that. That's what he'd say. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you'd be like this. You're a fucking idiot. Now let's talk about this again. I want to go back to the competitive slapping. Oh. If you got hollow bones, but you- You would not be in competitive slapping. Okay, but look- You'd be the guy from it. Spongebob who breaks all his bones every single day in the morning with both my feet. he's dedicated. He's dedicated to slapping. He'd have no bones. He has bones. There's hollow. But they wouldn't be no bones anymore. Because they would literally become dust after That's a while. That's why you wear the oven mitt. It doesn't matter if he's wearing anything on his hands. Okay, what if he's wearing two oven mitts? He could be wearing 17. It won't change anything. Does 18? Maybe. Okay, that's just not a lot. Maybe 18. Then this, the, but the impact isn't hard anymore. It's still like a reverberated feeling of it. Yeah, but he's not winning. That guy. And what the fuck <laughs> is the point? Because then once he slaps, the guy who's like probably like 477 p- pounds... He's been in the gym since 7 o'clock in the morning. He's ready to go. When he smacks his face, his jaw and cheek will fucking, literally like a Looney Tunes episode, wrap around his head <laughs> and disintegrate. Yeah, but what a story he'll have for the emergency room. Can he tell it? Yeah, like this. Do you remember? <laughs> he talks normal. Do you remember in Over the Top, that scene where it's arm wrestling and then that guy like gets his arm pushed back too far and then you see his phone oh, actually pop break. Out. Yeah. yeah, I was not ready for that. I wasn't ready for that either. That should, rated, top, that should have been rated R because of that. Because of that, I'm amazed that that movie's rated PG because Sylvester Stallone's son in that film is named Mike Cock. These cameras keep making sounds that are giving me a heart attack. <laughs> I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like I'm I being like how t- hunted. <laughs> There's a giant orange yoga ball. In your background, I've, I haven't noticed that. I have my yoga ball. It's my yoga it ball. It can never leave. It's always yeah, got to be a staple. Yeah. No, but dude, like, so I just run back to competitive karting. That's like a real thing. Like every Formula One driver did that. At a, that's how they like they started driving. It was in karting. Yeah, I feel like that's how everyone starts driving. Like well, race car drivers, yes. No, every child in the world has driven a go kart. No, I mean like, but like, I mean like, in racing. Do there's, you disagree there's, there's with a, my thing? Yeah. Imagine though being in like rural Africa and then you <laughs> see a snake and the fucking chance that that's a black mamba is really high. That's scary. Yeah, I am ter- like a snake that can go up like this and like has like the little a flaps. Cobra? That I've seen one of those fuel. eat a hot dog. Like with the bun? Nope. Um I went there was this place in Wilmington, North Carolina uh, called the Serpentarium where it's closed now because the owner murdered his hus- her husband. That's real shit. I I you don't know, know. You know who also murdered her husband? No. Carol Baskins. I don't know who that is. You know the whole like Tiger King shit? Oh, I never watched Tiger King. I never watched it either, but I know like the drama of it. I don't I don't care about Tiger King. If Nick Cage was playing Tiger King, I would have watched it. They actually do have a Amazon show now where that girl who's not funny who's in Ghostbusters and Amy Schumer? No. Very good one. I respect you for that. Fist bump. Um, <laughs> she was on SNL. So she started mm. and she went on to... Uh, the Ghostbusters movie. She was like the smart, like, doctor. Oh, like, Kate uh, McKinnon? Yeah. She's funny. I don't think she's that funny. I think she's funny. She's okay. Can I talk my, can I tell my snake story? No. So what happened was I was they're about. making a show. <laughs> I was about three or four. And this is before the wife murdered her husband. I'm just going to talk to the camera. I was really excited because this is the first time I was going to get to see a King Cobra. And I love snakes. And set up around the King Cobra enclosure if you ask my mom, she will tell you it was a f- a couple inches high. This is wrong. It was a large fenced-in enclosure. Given this enclosure could have been Can knocked su- down by a, a soft wind. Yeah. How tall were you at this time? Like maybe three feet tall. So do you think in perspective? It no, was because tall? I was. I'll get. I was uh, eventually. I was up on my dad's shoulder so I could see over the crowd, and the cage went up and surrounded the whole enclosure. We were like, "Why is this here?" And we looked at everything else, but I was—I really wanted to see this King Cobra, and a crowd had gathered around it. And when we went up, I got up on my dad's shoulders, 
And inside was a man wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt and like a crocodile Dundee hat. And on a like marshmallow roasting stick, he had placed a hot dog. I don't know if he cooked it. I'll say he did. Next, he opened the cage. So it was, a, it was a glass enclosure. He opens it up. This snake drops onto the floor. Instantly on the ground, comes up, hood expands, and you're like, oh shit, that guy's gonna die. <laughs> and he holds out this hot dog, and that cobra nibbles on the dog. He's like, dum, 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 dum. He's, he's, like he's like going in, striking the hot dog, and you're like, what's happening? How have you trained this king cobra to eat this hot dog? <laughs> then at the end, this, I don't know if this is true, but this is what I, I told you this part. No one. This I'm just I could I'm trying to recall it because I'm like the snake is out of the enclosure. How did they get it back in? It's fenced in still, but you had to get this snake from the ground into the thing. And I don't know how they did that. I'm so was it was there a box inside the enclosure? So it was a regular like in the wall enclosure and there was a glass plate mm-hmm. like a normal like like at a museum where you'd see frogs. Mm-hmm. And, and it dropped out of that. Yeah, they lifted that up, and then it dropped out onto the regular, like, carpeting, and then ate the hot dog, nom, 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 nom. And then they had to get it back in. And in my mind, the snake just crawled back in. But there's no fucking way they got a king cobra to do that. So I feel like they had to wrangle this king cobra, enormous, muscular, venom, one of the most venomous snakes that they just fed a hot dog to. And they're like, all right, get it back in the cage. He's like, all right, cool, guy. Thank you. Like, they you, have snake clamps, yes. but still, this was not a high class establishment. I'm telling you, the fence could have been pushed pushed over. But I could have me at four. I could have pushed over the whole fence. You should have. Yeah, I could have. I should have. And I all hell break that loose. Cobra is mine. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss it right on the lips, <laughs> and then you die. Yeah, and that's why I'm here. Mm-hmm. That's how I got here. Yep. You're probably wondering how I got here. That's still not the right song. We did that earlier, and you did that. Yeah. Well, funny. anyway, thank you all so much for watching the first episode of Caden Walking Talk at You. I think that we really showed how that title is completely accurate. Yeah, it is. Because we ran the gambit of school to terrorism to go-karting to snakes. Yeah, a little bit in between that as well. There is in between, but I can't remember because we've been talking for an hour, and whenever we do this show, I black out.